All right. <laughs> Let's try it again. I don't know. Like... One, two, three. All right. Close enough. <laughs> All right. Black people got rhythm. <laughs> <laughs> I left my rhythm on the coffee table <laughs> on the <laughs> counter at home, man. Next to my keys. Right. Okay. Hi, this is Lori. This is Hamilton. And this is Peter. And we're with Heroes Character Rental Service doing another movie review of Harriet. Harriet, uh, the uh, <laughs> biopic. Mm -hmm. Biopic, yeah. About uh, uh, legendary Harriet Tubman who was a slave who escaped to her freedom and then went back and bravely rescued a lot more people, a lot more slaves, and uh, brought them to freedom uh, through the Underground Railroad, which was not actually a railroad, just in case anybody... But, but <laughs> see, technically, um, it's, it's a movie, because the biopic... They want um, who, who is it? What, uh, Julia Roberts. Julia Roberts. Right, 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 right. Because you see, it was so long ago. Nobody no would remember, remember she was black. Right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. That was a weird story. That, I, I, just to clarify, I think I heard that that was an idea thirty years ago. When yeah, they, they were they've been trying yeah. to they've been trying to make this movie for a long, long time. So, anybody want to start with impressions of the movie? Um, I'll get to the details. Uh, was um, are, are we going to do spoilers in this? No, we'll stay okay. spoiler. Is there spoilers? I mean, <laughs> no. Well, ex except that there is no train. Right. There's right. No there is train. no underground. Yeah, that's physical just what underground the railroad. network, uh, yeah. the escape network mm -hmm. set, up, right. set up back then was called. It wasn't an actual train, which right. is all right. <laughs> well, I, if you know your American history, you would have known that. I think yeah. it's a little hard to do a recap on this movie just because. It sort of starts out with very scant information about the background of the characters, and then all of a sudden she's running away. Well, yeah, it starts with her life on uh, 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 at a plantation um, with her family mm -hmm. uh, and under the conditions. You know, one of these things this movie isn't what we've had in recent years is like. Movies about slavery have been very graphic and harsh and really want to show you the horrible conditions. And this movie doesn't get into that. Um, yeah, and yeah. I, that, that's kind of a relief, I have to say, mm -hmm. you know, yes. to see that. I was to say about the first third of this movie is her own escape from her condition, her deciding to do that and her running away um, and making it to freedom. Mm -hmm. um, and then the two, last two thirds of it is about her going back, her bravery, going back and getting mm -hmm. up, freeing more slaves. So, um, I, 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 I would just say, like, not trying to give away anything, but I just wish this movie had explored the characters and the motivations more. You know, like the character is the motive. Well, character up here. I, I get your. I get. I have something to say towards her. Um, Harriet Tubman herself. Mm -hmm. um, um, do, you, do you think like the slave owners? Uh, one of the things I was hoping this movie. One of the it was directed by Casey Lemons, mm -hmm. um, a director who I really like. Her right. movie Talk to Me. She also directed Ease by You, mm -hmm. and I had a name drop moment. It was like I met her ten years ago and got to talk to her for a nice long time about it. It was really cool. She, wow. her husband's in this movie too. Um, she and her husband and their kids. Actually, her son is in this movie too. So I, I hadn't seen him since he was little. <laughs> so it was kind of cool to see that whole family that I saw and got to hang out with ten years ago. I, you know, in this film. And um, so she's a really good director. I know she was kind of added. They were had been developing this movie for a long time, and then they brought her on. And I got the feeling she didn't want to rock the boat. It's very much. It's. I was hoping for something more. Uh, less by the numbers, by yeah, the way. Yeah, that's, that and, was and my It dug problem. a little deeper so, or yeah. made it a little interesting. But this yeah. movie, very, it's a good movie. It's not a great movie. Yeah. But uh, definitely a must-see a, a must movie just mm -hmm. from an American history standpoint. Right. But, yeah, I was hoping it dug in a little deeper. I, for, I for totally agree, things. Laurie, what you just said. Mm -hmm. um, my biggest problem with the film, it, it's not a bad film, but it, it's kind of mediocre. It's just by the numbers. Yeah. And to say that it, it's been in production for, it's been, yeah, like in production for 30 years, yeah. it's hard to believe looking at the final product, in my opinion. It just mm -hmm. felt like well, very flat. Well, um, 
it's been a movie that they that they've wanted to bring to screen for thirty years. Yeah. Right. Um, but um, I think a lot of different people had a lot of different takes on it. Um, I'm glad they didn't go the roots, um, the roots uh, uh, um, way of uh, right. more graphic. Yeah. Well, the more like yeah, uh, right. like Twelve Years um, a Slave has been yeah. like that. I like Amistad um, was pretty graphic. I I, w- I was I was Jane really Jane. glad to say right. yeah. Right. I was really glad to see that they looked at it from her leaving. Uh-huh. It, you know and. and um, that yeah, there were, and I was glad that they they did this as well. And that was, they they showed that there were a lot of uh, whites who were sympathetic to the cause, and there was a, a, a network of people. Even when she had escaped, there yeah. there was already a network. Yeah, abolitionists of were already um, yes. you know organizing and things right. to, and and protesting um, against slavery. And then. Uh, I did like how they uh, they didn't skip over a lot of um, the laws and uh, what Congress and stuff like that was doing mm-hmm. and uh, how there were actually northern um, uh, uh, states that were having problems mm-hmm. and that the, the, the federal government sought to... Uh, sought to alleviate those problems Mm -hmm. Um, and you know then uh, and I'm glad they have they showed a lot of the um, historic people at some of the meetings okay yeah Yeah. and I was just like this this I I thought it was a a really well done movie because they didn't um, they didn't try to focus on what it meant to be a slave, except that, um, you know, they did tell about some of the reasonings, not so much the, the, uh, the harshness in which many of the slave owners um, uh, uh, put the slaves through uh, so far as physical things, but they, they, they did and I wouldn't even say they focused on, but they touched on uh, mental aspects mm-hmm. of mm-hmm. it. And they mm-hmm. said, well, yeah, that's Here's one this. of the things there's in this movie. There's a character, um, a male character who is the son of the of the uh, plantation owners. And he he and Harriet kind of have an interesting relationship, at least from mm-hmm. his perspective. Mm-hmm. And it sounds like they were they're about, probably about the same age. They probably grew up together. They probably had some kind of friendship dynamic. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And he they can you know they're I think they're trying to portray a certain complexity to that, mm-hmm. but they didn't want to get too into it either. Mm-hmm. And so it, it but it, they try to show that there's this kind of like he cares for her, but can you really care for somebody who you enslave? I think is the thing, and you know, on it, and her, you know, she can't, she doesn't, you know, respond to his, you know, his, his affinity for her in, in any way. But it's, I think they were trying to do hint at something like that. But at the same time, they wanted a movie that was going to have broad appeal. <laughs> Honestly, right. they wanted a movie that white people would go see. Right, right. You know? Non non blacks. So, yeah, they were. Well, you know, well, they're like, well, we'll get the black people in. We want to make sure the non blacks don't feel too, you too know, overwhelmed. Overwhelmed mm-hmm. with you know this the harshness of a uh, uh, slavery. Story. Well, the reason I I said for me it was kind of mediocre is I, I agree. I actually think mm-hmm. it was good. They didn't show a lot of violence. It wasn't uh-huh. necessary. We already yeah, know. We've seen. You yeah. know. Yeah. Anyone who knows. A little about slavery knows that there was a lot of bloodshed, but I just felt like I wasn't convinced watching this film that the person on screen, I didn't understand her motivation. Like why? Why would if you if you escape slavery, why would you run back and and help? Well, she didn't get their fl- her family. Her family, yeah. but they didn't really and then, show. And any you know that's interaction, and that's the point you know? I wanted to get to is that her character. Um, 
what was Harriet Tubman really like? Now, for somebody to go through as much, to accomplish as much as she did, I mean, she I did agree. not lose a slave. She right. won and, and met, she, what, she managed troops or she led some troops during the Civil mm-hmm. War. She had to be a hard ass. And she, I would think she probably had to be a rough, kind of gruff person. I, I, I could imagine exactly. her, like, I think they there is a true story. Like she would pull guns on slaves. It's like I'll kill you if you don't run to freedom. Right. And stuff. She was a it's hard. Funny that yeah. You it's kind of like that drill sergeant, like who's you know beat you down, but if they don't beat you down, you won't survive. Right. And I wish they would have shown more aspects. Like I can imagine that was her personality, mm-hmm. and if they would have showed some kind of aspect of that. Yeah, I, that, that's what I'm saying. I feel like the person you see on the screen doesn't really represent a caricature of this 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 story hero that we know about not like a caricature you know, like or, or character, i'm sorry like the way yeah. yeah the way just the person that we're seeing i don't see any personal uh like her personality doesn't reflect mm-hmm. necessarily yeah the person i've, I've mm-hmm. heard about in history you know reading in books and stuff mm-hmm. but you know like you said, I, I'm glad this movie got made because, um, you know, a few years ago they, they were talking about um, they want to put Harriet Tubman's likeness on, or, a, $20 on, on bill. a $20 right. bill. And it was very controversial. And it got even, even got pushed back a few years. But the thing is, I think this movie makes it clear. This person is clearly a hero. Right. Absolutely. Know, and, and she, I mean, she was amazing hero. to do what she did. Yeah. And, and it, there needs to be a movie about this character. Um, I, I'm a fan of Cassie Lemons too, yeah. Laurie. Uh, I, I like Talk to Me. Yeah. Talk with me, I think. Talk to me. Talk yeah. to me. I have and, to see that again. <laughs> and I even like her. You know, she used to be an actress. Right. So I, right. I, I even liked her. If, for anyone who remembers the movie Once Bitten with oh, uh, with mm-hmm. Nicholas Cage, just like a crazy uh, vampire movie from mm-hmm. the '80s, and like she did Fear of a Black Cat. I've always liked her. And I'm rooting for her, but I just thought this movie just, it just felt kind of flat, like, mm-hmm. in terms of the development of the story yeah. for me. I, I mean, think it had great performances, but you just, there was the scenes of like, okay, okay this is where the big Oscar-winning speech is going to go by the main character. It just, you know, kind of just felt too much like that, so. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. I, I still want to take my mom to see it. I just think. Oh, yeah. You know, I just take your mom, take like, your dad yeah. to see it. Definitely too. I mean, I think people should see it. It is a good movie. It mm-hmm. is a well-made movie. And it's just, I don't think it's like, you know, Oscar is going to be any kind of, it might get nominated I'll, for some I'll stuff, but I don't really think it's, I think there will probably be better movies out that deserve it more. So, any final thoughts on this one, Peter? Um, the cin- Everything about this movie, to me, was good to very good. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, I did, Nothing I was excellent. Yeah. Nothing right. was yeah. over it's the top. It's a very good right. movie. Um, it's definitely the, worth going to see. The cinematography was what it was of of the area. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, so you didn't get any. You know, it wasn't like you went to the Himalayas and you were seeing this. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They weren't um, trying to do any fancy camera no, work. Or no, they weren't. They weren't trying to do anything. They were telling a story, and they were telling a good story. Yeah. Mm-hmm. One, and, okay, I won't let you finish, because yeah. I have one other thing I wanted to... I, I, so, I, I want to say, though, I do agree, Laurie, about... I wish they'd have more interaction with the the, the slave master's son or whatever. And her, and they, her. They, wanted, they were hinting at a very complex relationship there. I don't yeah. think they quite achieved um, showing it to... Yeah, they didn't on show screen. you the whole It, it could have been really fascinating. Of their interaction. But, you know, yeah. the, from a psychological standpoint, but they didn't want to dig in too yeah. much. But yeah. you know what? Like, even with that, mm-hmm. I think they did somewhat crossover because there, there was a couple times that the... Uh, Harriet Tubman and the slave owner, or the slave owner's son. son. Um, I think they they crossed the line here and there mm-hmm. to say something, but I think the reason neither one of them, like you say, confirmed or denied mm-hmm. certain things was because... Um, you would be hinting at, or you would be saying, okay, on Harriet's side, if they had a relationship, it was would be considered forced. Absolutely. 
Well, you on, can't. Cons- it couldn't have been a consensual relationship because right. she was a slave. On his side, mm-hmm. it would be considered. No, that's just how this works. That's how the the time period was. Right. Yeah. So there would there would be that that dynamic that I think for the most part they were trying to stay away from. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, yeah, okay. Um, yeah. Just like we did see a couple slaves well, I'm kinda, I'm <laughs> take off their shirt and you saw the whip marks. Yeah. But you did not see the act, the action of the whipping. Right. And I mm-hmm. think that that, I think all of those things were, um, it was intentional mm-hmm. to this this isn't the story. Yeah, we're, they're this not doing the a movie about slavery. They're doing a right. movie about this great American hero, right? And yeah. her accomplishments right. and just honoring her. Um, and, and, and I think her bravery was was no different than they've shown or even talked about where we've had um, people both in World War One and World War Two yeah. who. They were now a, a, away from the the uh, uh, the bullets and everything else, and what did they do without a gun and stuff like that? They went back and rescued people, mm-hmm. or went back and I remember there was this one guy like he captured like hundreds of German soldiers mm-hmm. by himself. All right, let's go, you know. Mm-hmm. So. Um, I think they didn't go where they maybe should have uh, what was her like you said motivation to go back they talked about it bits and pieces and they kind of I think they kind of said so you get it exactly you know and you said okay okay. yeah okay yeah Yeah. and and you went with it Mm -hmm. but when you sit back later you go I wish they would have told me more on why. Yeah. And I felt like for someone would, who doesn't know who Harriet Tubman is, mm-hmm. there's a lot of assumption that you, well, you know that she freed slaves. And, she, mm-hmm. and so they, like, they tell you all of that, but they don't tell you, they don't try to delve into the history behind they, 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 these characters. You, you, okay, you, you knew, okay, she went to go get her family. Okay. Yeah, exactly. But she went to go get others. But I think that was more, there was uh, so many people within her family. And if you remember, her father just, her father said, I got to stay. But yes, you take those people out. But if I go, you know, but then finally when she found well, that they were getting split up, she said, oh, no, you got to come now. Well, you have to realize she was very much an activist person but you know this like post her her heroics during slavery is that she was very much for the woman's woman's rights um too you know later on so she was uh she was just that that kind of person that was like let's go let's do something this is wrong i'm gonna do something about it mm-hmm. so that you know i'm gonna show that my support i'm whatever i gotta do i'm gonna do that so that's kind of her motivation i mean that's yeah. just the type of person she was yeah. so um i had a couple other things um you mentioned about them showing white people as being good and abolitionist. Yeah, and what I appreciated, you know, one thing I I wanted to see this movie from a, a black female director, what perspective she had to from, you know, what her voice or that voice from that perspective, mm-hmm. which would be different than anything else coming before that. Um, I didn't get it a whole lot, but I will say she didn't... Um, the people, the white people, were in the background, other than the main antagonists. They were kind of the the helpers. Mainly, her main connection uh, with the abolitionists with, with another black person, with other black people. And so, black people are front and center of this movie. Whereas I feel um, 
a white director would have her team up with a white person because, oh, we have to be included too and stuff. So and that was none of that. And that was cool. <laughs> so, <laughs> and oh, now I've forgotten my, uh, my second. Uh, well, it's second. good that they didn't right. have like a white protagonist type. You exactly. Know, like, they, like usually have, of, yeah. they usually have some, oh, this guy. So you got to have this person teamed up with the, the main black character so we can draw in this type of audience or mm-hmm. we can make sure, you know, people feel okay about themselves and you know, right. not, not feel bad about slavery after going to see this movie. Which, which <laughs> is where I think that whole Julia Roberts uh, thing <laughs> yeah, came from. The, the whole idea that you always need a prominent mm-hmm. white character in a film about non-white people. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I wanted to also mention one of the things I don't like about the script in this film is they mm-hmm. actually had at least one character who who was not real. Okay. And I thought that wasn't necessary. Oh, okay. I don't know. Uh it's a controversy surrounding the the film, but one of the main one of the main characters I don't know if it's the the, the white slave owner or Okay, it's or probably yeah, I can yeah. see imagine that. Like I said, they were trying to build up some kind of interesting dynamic between yeah. them. So but but, but, that, but that's you know. in in all movies. Even because yeah. yeah, I, I, I I recently that's went to go point. see uh Ford versus Ferrari. Mm-hmm. Right. I, even was, even I like though film, I, 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 I saw it, I knew that there were a lot of non truths in there. Oh, that's a nice sound. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's the Speaking nature of filmmaking, right? right? I guess you're but, right. But the thing is, they a lot of even true stories, a lot of times for a movie and for an audience who's sitting down there, they need to um, do a narrative or, or a circumstance. and say, okay, this is how it goes. Here's, here's the bad guy, here's the good guy, and here's the story. Mm-hmm. So we need this bad guy in order for us to push this story through. To make it an interesting story yeah. On, yeah. You know, on a cinematic level. Right. Well, I think let's let's wrap this up because mm-hmm. we, we this is I, I say definitely go see it uh, mm-hmm. from a historic standpoint to learn if you don't know anything about Harriet Tubman go see it and then go mm-hmm. read some history books mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, it is a good movie. I yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I think it's a very good movie. Mm-hmm. I I would suggest go around definitely holiday go season, seize yeah. it. It emphasizes her spirituality, her you know her belief, mm-hmm. her faith in God, and things like that, and mm-hmm. getting her through um, the difficulties of freeing people and freeing herself. So mm-hmm. I kind of appreciated that as well. So, mm-hmm. so, so shall we uh, wrap this up and say we out? We out like Harriet Tubman. <laughs> okay. Yep. Drop the mic. <laughs> I think did, did Harriet Tubman say that first? Ah. <laughs> <laughs>